Morning children. Do you know the moon? Yes, you know the moon. So shall we go to moon? So if we go to moon, if we land on the moon, how our earth will be appear to us? How can we see the earth? Shall we go? Oh, there is no need of go to the moon. We have a photograph. We have a photograph. This photograph is showing the earth. This photograph is taken from the moon. From the moon, they have taken the photograph of the earth. But here, we can see only half portion of the earth. Why it is showing the off portion? The other side is the night. The other side of the earth is not receiving the sunlight. So, the half of the earth is clear to us. Then, what is the shape of the earth? Do you know? Earth is Plot around. Oh, you know that it is round. It is spherical. You know the globe. And we have the globe in our school also. Am I right? So, you know the globe. So, earth. So, what is globe? Globe is a model of the earth. Today, we are going to learn about the globe is a model of the earth. Globe, a model of the earth. So this globe is showing the seas, oceans and continents. And in the continents, we have the countries, states, districts, mandals, villages and mountains plateaus, plains. So, we can see all these things on the globe. So, we call it as the globe. It is a model of the earth. In olden days, the people believed that the earth is flat and they believed that when we go to the end of this earth when we go to the end of this earth we will fall off the earth into the sky 600 years ago they believed like that but from the 1400 AD the scientist finalized that earth is like a ball it is spherical in shape round in shape. Of course, the earth is completely not like a ball, not like a spherical in shape. It is pressed in the north side, upper side and in the bottom side. Slightly it is pressed and it is bulged in the middle of the earth. But all the maps and the globes, most of the maps and the globes, they are not showing these pressing or bulging of the globe because it is very slight. And for example, if we place the toys on the upper side of the globe and the bottom side of the globe and each side of the globe, you place some toys. How it will be appeared? The top, the toy which is on the top of the globe, so it is clear, it is standing on the same place, it will not be fall off the globe. And which is placed on the bottom of the globe, it looks like it will be fall off from the globe or earth. And each side also same. But it is not possible, we are not 
falling off from the earth even though you are living on the right side or left side or the top or bottom so what is the reason we never fall off the earth because earth is working as a magnet you know the magnet magnet will attract the iron pieces in the same way the earth is also attracting us towards the earth so that magnetic power is called gravitational force what is that gravitational force so we never fall off the earth into the sky is it okay and also earth is like a ball how can you find when we revolve the globe okay you put one mark on on the globe and you revolve that globe and the mark will be appeared after a mark after completion of one rotation you can see the dot again so it is spherical in the same way a sailor an explorer who is explorer columbus you know the columbus the columbus wanted to see route to india so he started his journey from europe italian sailor the like italian explorer columbus started his journey from europe and he stopped at caribbean islands near america disappointed he did not discover the india route he failed in that journey he discovered america but if he would continue his journey in the same way he might be reached india in the same way we put a dot and we revolve the globe and again we are seeing the same dot after revolving the globe like the columbus might be reached the india if he continued his journey in the same direction without returning back without returning back if we start the journey in the same direction in the same line we must to reach the same place after some years okay we saw the photograph taken from the moon the earth looks like blue color earth is in blue color why it is blue the 71% of the earth surface area covered with water 71% of the water is contained in the earth on the earth so it looks like blue due to that water the water is in the form of seas oceans lakes and other things and there is a large amount of land sheets or the amount of land sheets these are called continents the land sheets are seven the seven land sheets are continents are there on the earth surface so we have the oceans and we have the continents we have the seven continents here and the northern part the upper part of the earth is covered with the snow there was a ocean arctic ocean it was in frozen condition it was in frozen condition like a ice total ice ice is there in the southern part in antarctica continent is also there it is also most of the portion of antarctica continent also in frozen condition directions on the globe directions on the globe you know the directions east west north south but here on the globe we have north at the top of the globe it is north at the bottom of the globe it 
it is south these are the points only these are the points only and if you imagine one line is drawn from the north point to south point it is passing through interior of the earth for example it is called axis so earth revolves around the sun now and earth revolves itself from west to east on this axis so on this axis earth revolves it is moving on this axis okay the dots on the north and the dot the dot on the north the dot on the south bottom on the top and on the bottom they are not moving for example you put a mark and do you revolve the globe the dot is moved but at the top dot and the bottom dot it is not moving so the north pole it is called north pole it is called south pole they are not moving these are the dots only lines on the globe you can observe the lines the horizontal lines the vertical lines on the globe some lines are drawn from the north pole to south pole and some lines are drawn around the earth so these are called latitudes and longitudes so if map makers drawn these lines these are not real lines on the earth these are the imaginary lines these are the imaginary imaginary lines drawn on the globe so what are the latitudes latitudes are the lines drawn around the earth around the earth towards the north and towards the south are called latitudes the length of these lines are not same the largest line the largest circle is located in the middle the largest line or largest circle is located in the middle middle of the earth this is called equator and when we move to towards the north and towards the south the length is decreased length is decreased and when we reach the north pole or when we reach the south pole only the points will be there there are no circles there are no lines so these are the latitude this middle latitude this middle line around the earth is called equator so we have given the 0 degrees to that and this equator is dividing the earth into two parts two halves two halves the northern hemisphere of sphere hemisphere means of sphere of ball the southern hemisphere okay then we go to longitudes the longitudes are the lines drawn from the north pole to south pole and unlike the latitudes these are the same length they have the same length actually the latitudes are latitudes have no same length the equator is the larger than the other latitudes but here all the longitudes are same length they have the same length so the zero degrees the zero degrees line which is drawn from the north pole to south pole is called greenwich line greenwich longitude and the opposite to the other side of the globe there is a line 
it has a 180 degrees east or west longitude it is also called international date line because the date will be changed when we cross that line okay why are we the east or towards the west why we are using mm -hmm. these latitudes and longitude we learn in the we are classes. using this about that to locate some places on the globe we are using and to know the time the longitudes are drawn with the help of the latitudes and longitudes one grid is created one net is created so due to that net we locate any place on the ground for example what is the location of india where is the india where is the india on the globe we have to locate with the help of that latitudes and longitudes with the help of that grid created by the latitudes and longitudes we can locate the, our country our state our district like this this is the advantage of the latitudes and longitudes